This creature's bite was so powerful, it didn't just break bones, it shattered them. Picture a moonlit Cretaceous swamp, 150 million years ago. A massive shadow moves through the water, silent and deadly. It's not Tyrex, it's not Spinosaurus. This is something else, something older, something with a bite that could crush a car. This monster is Dinosuchus, the terrible crocodile. It stretched up to 35 feet long, an armored nightmare that ruled the ancient waterways. Its prey wasn't small fish, it hunted dinosaurs, large powerful dinosaurs that came to the water's edge for a drink. Imagine a giant herbivore, thinking it's safe, it lowers its head. Suddenly, the water explodes. Rows of teeth, thick as railroad spikes, lock onto its face. There's no fight, no struggle, just a terrifying crunch. This is the death roll, scaled up to monstrous proportions. A spinning vortex of destruction that drags its victim into the abyss. But here's the most terrifying part. Scientists analyzed the skulls of Dinosuchus and found its bite force was legendary, possibly reaching 23,000 pounds per square inch. That's more than twice the bite force of a T-Rex. It didn't just bite through flesh and bone. It punctured them like they were nothing, leaving behind massive holes in the skeletons of its prey. These weren't just bites, they were kill shots delivered with the force of a hydraulic press. The ground trembles, another unsuspecting dinosaur approaches the riverbank. The dark water remains still, but beneath the surface, a pair of ancient eyes watch and wait. The ultimate ambush predator, a living torpedo of muscle and teeth, coils for the strike. This king of the Cretaceous waterways was a master of the patient hunt. For its victims, there was no warning, there was no escape, there was only the sudden crushing darkness. And what's truly frightening is that Dinosuchus wasn't even the biggest predator in its world. It was just one monster among many.